guess where I am. I've come to Naughty Bist Village on my way to my mum and dad's. Just thought I'd have a little wee stop, you know, just a quick stop it, have a little mooch. I don't think I'm going to buy anything, nothing that I need or want. But it's nice to have a bit of a mooch, isn't it? You know, there might be a real bargain in a sale somewhere. So, let's go and have a look. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights past five oops need to be at mum's for five <laughs> god i was so close to buying a mulberry so close to buying a mulberry it was an, an a large no medium antony or, or the larger antony i don't know like crossbody messenger style really nice in like a clay they call it with khaki sort of straps it was beautiful 350 bog bargain for mulberry um and the small one was the same price as the big one so that shows you you know what a bargain it was I went away and thought about it and then I ended up going into Cambridge Satchel Company and I saw a bag there that was £56 so saved quite a lot of money there and the Anthony I've got this not fake but it's a copy of a mulberry bag it's not supposed to be a fake mulberry it's just a the same style if you like which isn't leather it's like a vegan leather and I thought well I've got that 
that's identical to the mulberry, just different colour. So pointless really. If there'd been something that was just wowed me, then maybe, but you know, anything over 350 pounds and I'm, I just, I can't really do it. And 350 would have been for my birthday present anyway in April. So anyway, I'm waffling. I need to go. We need to go. <laughs> and we're going to say something. And hi fans. Say hello, mummy. Hello. <coughs> So we're going to get out of her then. Well, I'm, yeah, con I'm concentrating on the recipe, new recipe. I have to concentrate. Much more important. Much more important. Yes. Yes, indeed. <clears throat> this is the induja. Are you putting that on mine? No, I'm not oh. going to put it on because okay. I don't know. it's got sausage stuff in it. Yeah. Neat. Molten sausage. As, as much as I'd love to have it, this month it's a no go. Oh, no. Induja, induja sauce this is. Not in mine. Hi guys. So I bought this. It's actually navy and it's the Cambridge Satchel Company cloud bag. I think I'm going to return it. It is lovely. Don't get me wrong. It's beautiful. But I suddenly thought colour transfer. Not so much from the bag, but I think from the handle. I'll show you. You see, this is like raw dyed leather. And I think that could potentially leave colour transfer on anything light. And I think it will put me off using it. I'll be too worried. Such a shame because it's so nice. I mean, it's kind of small and it needs to, you know, give a bit. I just think it might not be a good buy. I don't know. It's so nice. These are £140 in the shops and I got it for 56 But really worried about this. Surprise, surprise, I also bought a mug in a Bridgewater. <laughs> oh dear, I'm out of control. I'll show it to you when I get home everybody. It's a beautiful but very cold day. I haven't done my face yet, apologies. Um, so me and mum are spending the day together today. My dad's gone off gallivanting. So uh, mum and I are going to some village in the Cotswolds I think and we're going to have a girly day out. It's going to be very nice. Yes, mum and I have come to a place called Charlbury. Well, it's very, very pretty and oldie worldy. We're going to find a coffee.
Ouch. He's looking for mum. So this is gorgeous, isn't it? There's two of them. <laughs> We've now come to a yurt cafe for a little coffee. We went to Woodstock before, but I couldn't really vlog because it's just too many people. But uh, yeah, we're here now. very cold morning today. Minus two. It is Sunday and I've got to go back to Bista Shopping Village. Oh, I decided to take that bag back but it says on receipt that they only do exchanges. So I'm not happy about that really. Not happy. Sorry about the way I look. I've just woken up. So yeah I've got to hop in the shower, get my face on and go to Bister and see if they'll take this bag back. Otherwise it's 56 pounds down the drain, which nobody can afford. Well, some people can afford, I can't. It's very, very, very chilly. Look at the frost on that roof. I wish it had been like this on Christmas day. Light problem. No de-icer. Oh my gosh, it's so bright. It's so bright. Can you believe it? It was absolutely freezing cold this morning and now the weather is like cold but very bright. Let's move it. Move it over here. That's better. Yes, yeah, so I ended up going back to Bista and I did manage to refund the bag. They tried not to let me refund the bag. But um I personally and then they refunded it. Such a shame because it was a lovely bag, but I think potentially it's going to leave black marks all over my clothes. And it was really, 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 really stiff. So I probably wouldn't have reached for it. Waste of money. So, yeah. Very proud of myself for returning it. Mum and I are off for lunch. We're having lunch with the lady that we went on the Greek holiday with. So that should be very nice. I think we're having some sort of seafood risotto. And then come back here and then have supper with mum and dad. And then I'm going to poodle off home this evening because I've got the dreaded MOT tomorrow. Mm. Fingers crossed. We shall see how that goes. Hello, hello. There was a little bit of a gap between then and now. So it's two days later. It's just all, you know, life, life. Uh, left mum and dad's Sunday evening and then I took my car for an MOT yesterday. Uh, it passed, but I do need to buy three new tyres and the brake pads and brake discs are on the way out. Uh, so uh, more money, more money. It's just a nightmare, isn't it? But anyway, it passed, that's fine. I was just sort of stuck in this town centre for four and a half hours, which is just dull. So um, no point, you know, showing you all that. It is Tuesday. Just been sort of doing bits and bobs around my flat, really, but I thought I'd better finish the vlog and get it up, you know, so that uh, you've got something to watch. Hope it was relatively entertaining for you. I was gonna show you the, the mug that I bought in Bridgewater. So I'll show you that and then I'm gonna sign off, I think the day yeah because I'm not going to do anything today I'd probably go out for a little walk um, maybe to the supermarket to get some food pop pops on the bed she's gonna have to go out and that's it really prepare for work so I shave the mug and then I'll sign off so it comes in this really nice little Emma Bridgewater bag they are lovely bags all paper beautiful um, I've just washed my hair I'm having a bit issues with my with my shampoo i've used this avalon organic stuff for ages this lemon stuff and all of a sudden it's not washing out 
I thought it was what I got in the birch box, which was that leave-in conditioner. I thought, oh, it's making my hair greasy. But I didn't use it today. And it's almost like it's not washing out of my hair properly. So it leaves like this horrible sort of greasy residue. So mm, I think I'm going to have to try and find some more shampoo. Some more organic-y shampoo. And I haven't found a zero waste shampoo yet that really is all right, you know. So, yes, the uh, the hunt continues for that one. Anyway, let's get on with it, shall we? So they wrap it in this. I wonder if you can guess which one I bought. <laughs> it's totally inappropriate now for this time of year. That gives you a clue. Ready? That's the price there. It's reindeers. Do you know, this year I really missed not having a Christmas mug. So um, I have actually bought another Christmas mug from Emma Bridgewater and I'll show you another time. But this was what I bought the other day. I thought it was really nice. It was reduced to £5.95. I don't know if it's a second. Oh, it is. Seconds. But I couldn't see why. I had a good old inspect and I couldn't see why there is a black mark a pencil mark at the bottom they tend to mark seconds with the black pencil but I can't see anything wrong with it so there we go that's the mug that I bought very pleased with it very pleased with it I think I might use it throughout the year I'm not sure anywho that's it so yes I did buy a few things in the Emma Bridgewater sale online um actually only four things one thing was a bit of a disappointment so I might do a little video on that and I thought I might do a mug collection video because it might help me declutter them. Mm, yes, it might. So I might do that. I hope you're all well and you enjoyed a little bit of this. And um, I'll speak to you very soon. So take care.